Well, we had a good meeting today. Um, the EU's Vice President, Maro Shevkovic, my joint chair of the, uh, the Joint Committee, um, and I had an opportunity to discuss uh, the implementation of the withdrawal agreement um, and the Northern Ireland Protocol. The UK government is committed to the implementation of the withdrawal agreement and the protocol. Uh, Vice President Shevkovic also requested that the UK withdraw its internal market legislation. Uh, I explained to Vice President Shevkovic that we could not and would not do that, and instead I stress the vital importance of reaching agreement through the Joint Committee on these important questions. Yes, I made it perfectly clear to Vice President Shevkovic um, that we would not be withdrawing this legislation, um, and he understood that. Of course, he regretted it, uh, but we also stressed the vital importance of making progress. There have been some who argued that uh, this legislation is an attempt to somehow set aside the withdrawal agreement or to shirk from the implementation of the protocol. Not at all. Uh, the UK government has been spending hundreds of millions of pounds in order to prepare Northern Ireland businesses for the protocol. That hasn't always been popular with everyone in Northern Ireland, but we've been determined to do it because we are absolutely serious about the implementation of the protocol but we have to ensure that the protocol is implemented in a way that respects the fact that Northern Ireland is an integral part of the United Kingdom, part of our customs territory, and it's British ministers in Westminster who are responsible for the good governance of Northern Ireland. I'm looking forward to the second reading of the bill next week because I believe it will be an opportunity uh, for the government to uh, set out in detail why it's important that we uh, have this legislation. This legislation is critical to ensuring that there is unfettered access for goods from Northern Ireland to the rest of the United Kingdom. Uh, we're a unionist party, um, the Labour Party is as well. So therefore I hope that across the House of Commons there'll be a recognition that we have an obligation uh, to the people of Northern Ireland in order to make sure that they can continue to have unfettered access. But of course we as a government also have an obligation which we take equally seriously to make sure that the withdrawal agreement and the protocol are implemented in a way that makes sure that the gains of the Good Friday Belfast Agreement are absolutely secured and enhanced in the future.